Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to talk about solid state drives for your Dell Power Edge M610 blade server. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell Power Edge M610 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, we'll top in. Uh, this video will be specifically focused on solid state drives for your Dell Power Edge M610 server. All right, so here's what we're going to do in this video as a whole. We're going to go over the different types of compatible drives for your 11th gen blade server. We're going to go over the max speeds, the max size. We're going to physically install one, which is really easy because it's a hot swap. Then we're going to show you how to test it with a cool tool that we like called HD Sentinel. What we like to do is we hook up a uh, storage array to our server and it allows us to uh, test standalone before we ever put a drive into a live production environment and it'll tell us the power on hours and the health score and that combined with Dell Diagnostics are uh, great tools to be able to test your drive and just make sure you also have a new drive right so all right we'll top in the compatible types of drives are going to be SAS and SATA. With SAS, you can get uh, 6 gigabit per second, whereas with SATA, you get 3 gigabit per second. So there's some distinct advantages with SAS and most specifically the speed. Now with SATA, though, it's going to cost less. So that's the big advantage over uh, SA uh, for SAS over SATA is just it's going to be a cheaper price per terabyte as a whole. So really, depending on your application, if you don't need the speed and budget is your main concern, SATA is the way to go. Now, as far as the max sizes, they're the exact same. It's 7.68 terabyte per drive slot, which really means something about it is actually pretty good storage overall, uh, because when you put in a hard drive, the max you're going to get is 2.4 terabytes with SAS and 2 terabytes with SATA. So not only will you get a superior drive when you go from a hard drive to a solid state drive, it performs better um, and less likely to fail, but you also get a higher scalability and better storage. Uh, it's a win-win-win. Now you're going to have to pay for it. A solid state drive definitely costs more than a hard drive, but it is better performing and it is going to be um, less likely to fail and just a great band-aid because people ask us all the time like hey you know we, we don't want to get rid of this server it, you know it still does everything that we need it to do but we just want it to perform a little bit better what do you recommend well what we always recommend is hey uh, pop in some new ram or upgrade your ram and pop in some solid state drives over hard drives those are the best two band-aids to just extend the life of your 11th gen blade so all right now that we know a little bit more about the compatibilities let's go ahead and show you how to physically install one and then we'll show you how to do De uh, hd sentinel all right, I have my ESD gear, so we are safe to open the machine. So this is a really simple install as a whole. You're just going to push the red circle. We're going to pull out our old hard drive, and we're going to upgrade this to a 1.92 TB SATA SSD. It's just going to slide right in. It's going to, the edge of the tray is going to catch, and when it does, you just clip it shut. Now it's fully inserted. I'll go ahead and I'll do it one more time to show you how easy it is. And just that simple. So if you're looking to extend the life of an older server like the M610, uh, one of the best things you can do is upgrade the SSDs, uh, upgrade your RAM. That'll definitely help boost the overall performance and extend the life as a whole. So the next thing we're going to do is show you how to test your M610 with Dell Diagnostics. Hey guys, it's Ben with Cloud Ninjas, and today I'm going to be showing you how to test your hard drives with Dell Diagnostics. And technically, it's going to cover more than just hard drives. It'll test your whole system and other components such as your CPUs, your memory, your NIC, the fans, video cards, and much, much more. But like I said, you can also test your hard drives with this, and it's actually a pretty good way to test them, um, and it's a great way to see if there's issues with those drives. So let's go ahead and get started. So what you want to go ahead and do is boot up your server and during post you want to go ahead and press F10 so you can enter the lifecycle controller. Once you're in the lifecycle controller you want to navigate to the hardware diagnostics tab on the left side and then you want to press run hardware diagnostics. And you may get a little warning screen but you just want to go ahead and press yes and it'll take a little bit of a second to load but this will load us into Dell Diagnostics. So immediately, whenever we load into Dell Diagnostics, there's a lot of information that pops up. As you can see on the left-hand side of the screen, it shows everything that's gonna be tested. On the right-hand side of the screen, there's lots of information about the test itself. Um, you can also navigate to the results and different configurations and also the event log. One thing I do want to mention about Dell Diagnostics is that some of you out there, when trying to run the hardware diagnostics, you may get an issue 
or you may get a warning about the firmware not being supported or the onboard diagnostics not being supported. And in that case, you want to go ahead and you can either do this in Lifecycle Controller itself or you can do it in iDRAC, but you just want to go ahead and update that firmware. And one of the things that's in those updates is the onboard diagnostics firmware. So stay tuned for that, and that'll give you all that information you need. And like I said, you can also do this through iDRAC as well. So other than that, there's not really much to say about these tests. You just kind of let it run, and this can this can take a while. It can take, you know, maybe a low end of 20 minutes up to maybe even an hour, especially if you have more memory in your system. Um, it's going to take a while to test all of that. Um, the more drives you have, that might add some time to it. So it really just depends on your system's configuration. But we're going to go ahead and fast forward through this. Like I said, pretty straightforward. Um, if it has any issues, it'll show you that that test failed, and that means the test was successful and there's no need to worry about it. So like I said, we're just going to go ahead and fast forward. All right, so we have finally reached the end of our test. And at the end of the test, we can go to the results tab that's in the middle of the screen, and we can go ahead and scroll through all the different messages. You can also view the event log, so that's pretty helpful. But if you go to the results, you can see a more in-depth information about the test that you just ran. So there's something very specific. It's a great place to look. But overall, that's Dell Diagnostics. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Uh, it's easy to access. Like I said, you may have that one issue where you may have to update the onboard diagnostics firmware. Uh, but other than that, once you do that, you shouldn't have any issues. All you got to do is navigate to the hardware diagnostics and just let the test run. You can let these run and then just go off, do something else, and come back 10, 20 minutes later. Um, and it's a pretty easy way to, one, test all of the drives in your system and make sure they're properly functioning but it's also a great way to test all of the other components in your system. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys HD Sentinel. Alrighty guys, so I have HD Sentinel pulled up right now, and as you can see, we currently have two drives plugged in. Uh, we have this installed into a storage array where we like to plug in multiple drives at a time so we can test those drives. HD Sentinel is an awesome tool because you can see things like the power on hours, which is great, especially when you're buying used equipment. You can see how long that, that drive has been in use. You don't want to be using drives that have been you know, heavily used because then you have a higher risk of drive failure. Um, and that's one of the reasons why HD Sentinel is such a cool tool. But as you can see, we can just go ahead and plug a drive into the array and it'll automatically populate within the software. And like I said, lots of information. It'll give you health scores of the drives. As you can see, the two we have up top, they have a 100% health score, while the one at the bottom has a 99%. So all pretty good. So I hope you guys found this video useful, and if you did, go ahead, smash the subscribe and leave a like. If you're interested in purchasing a custom-built server or you're looking to buy some drives, we do have plenty of those in stock, so you can go reach out to us at sales at cloudninjas.com, sales at cloudninjas.com. Anyways, guys, thank you for stopping by.